Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you would like to help the channel grow, just smash the like button. Yeah, just like that. <laughs> and please subscribe and make sure you hit the notification bell so you don't miss any new uploads. Diddy was put on shoe size watch. You know, S watch, shoe size, yeah, yeah, wink, wink. At the Metropolitan Detention Center in New York. But he's not actually shoe size. His lawyer, Mark Agnifilo, explained that this is a standard procedure for high-profile inmates. Agnifilo spent six hours with Diddy on Thursday and said he is mentally strong, healthy, and focused on his case. So Diddy is being held in the special housing unit reserved for high-profile inmates and is kept away from the general prison population due to the danger posed by his charges. So each day, Diddy gets a 6 a.m. wake-up call, makes his bed, and mops the floor of his 6 by 9 foot cell. 6 by 9. He is served three meals a day, totaling 1,800 calories. Though the food sometimes arrives cold, because his unit is far from the kitchen. For his first meal, he was given Swedish meatballs, noodles, green beans, a garden salad with dressing, and a 16 ounce drink. Okay, I don't know why I was thinking it was going to be like slops, you know? Um, let's see, green beans, meatballs, Swedish meatballs, noodles, Green beans, a garden salad with dressing. I mean, <laughs> it's better than I was expecting, but, you know, he's Diddy. He's used to, well, they say his normal diet typically includes things like duck, steak, organic veggies, shrimp, salmon, crab, and cheese platters. So, compared to what he's used to, look, it's still not, listen, look, tomorrow, Saturday, breakfast, fruit, cereal, breakfast cake, sugar substitute pigs, skim milk, coffee, and then lunch, beef tacos. Oh, wow. So, it's not Taco Tuesdays, it's sa Taco Saturdays. <laughs> so, beef tacos or chickpea tacos, black beans, whole kernel corn. Taco shells, too. Shredded cheese, salsa, fruit, and beverage. And then dinner, he gets cheese pizza, pasta with meat sauce or chickpea marinara, and spinach and a beverage. Um, it doesn't sound bad. <laughs> it doesn't. But the question is, how does it taste? Because, you know, it's prison food. I don't think they are hiring chefs, like, you know. And I'm sure they are not seasoning it. They're not eating it. They don't care. Whoever's cooking, <laughs> definitely tasteless. I bet. Tasteless. So, anyway, he gets one hour of recreation daily and can shower three times a week. Wow. He also has access to the commissary where he can buy small items like candy, gum, tea, and toiletries, as well as bigger items like sneakers. So at his last bail hearing, Diddy's lawyer has requested that he be transferred to a jail in Excess County, New Jersey, as the conditions at MDC Brooklyn are known to be horrific. However, the Bureau of Prisons will decide whether or not Diddy will be moved. So there's a video of Diddy being arrested. The video was obtained by TMZ and it shows the moment Diddy was arrested at the Park Hyatt New York Hotel in Midtown Manhattan on Monday evening, September 16. The video shows Diddy entering the hotel lobby with a group of friends. The moment he entered the lobby, several plainclothes agents approached and separated him from his crew. You guys, Diddy looked shocked. 
after the federal agent handcuffed him and marched him into an elevator. After clearing the lobby, the agents led Diddy back through the lobby and out the front door. So Diddy traveled to New York with the intention of turning himself in on Tuesday, September 17th. But the feds showed up on Monday evening to arrest him. According to prosecutors, something happened that caused the agents to arrest him a day early. Sources say the feds moved quickly to arrest him because he was tampering with potential witnesses. According to an indictment, Diddy contacted his former artist, Kalena Harper, 58 times after that Diddy Dirty Money bandmate Dawn Richard filed a lawsuit against him. In the indictment, Diddy was charged with SEX trafficking by force, racketeering, conspiracy, threats, and coercion, kidnapping, transportation to engage in prostitution, and arson. He was twice denied bail this week, with the judge saying Diddy was a danger to the community. Yes, he is, Your Honor. Yes, he is. <laughs> but Diddy is not shoe size, okay? Remember what shoe size means, okay? I don't know how I came up with that, but, you know, we can't say certain words on here, so we have to be careful. So, shoe size is, yeah, mm-hmm. Yeah, so yeah, so he's not. That's good because you know, I'm going to be honest. Yesterday, last night, I saw a video and they were talking about him being shoe size. He was on shoe size watch. And the the picture that they used, it just he just looks sad. And I'm not man, for the first time, I felt sorry for Diddy. Like I started praying for him. I did. I started praying for him. And yeah, so stuff like that bothers me. Um, but it's a good thing he's not shoe size. Okay, so yeah, so for the first time, I was really like, I was praying for him. I was praying for him. I even cried. I was praying for him. Because I don't know, I'm, I'm very emotional. <laughs> I've changed a lot. Like, I'm so emotional. Like, I feel certain. I don't know how to explain it, but it's just like, I just can feel people. I can feel, like, emotions. Like, through pictures or even if they, like, physically too. Physically, like, in person. If they, like, they could be walking and I just feel this, I don't know. It, it, it's, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I can't explain it, so, um, but I'm just glad, I'm glad he's not, you know, show size, because, you know, no one should do that, and I want him to take accountability, you know, and not take the easy way out by doing that, so I want him, because if he's really changed, because I see he's talking about brotherly love and all that God this, you know, and one thing, if you really, really, really repent, you have to confess your sins. You have to confess everything you've done that's wrong. That's a must. That's a must. If you're really sincere about being changed or you changing, yeah. If you really, really want to come to God and you want salvation, and you want him to forgive you for all of your sins, you have to repent all of your sins. Everything you've done wrong, you have to admit it. You have to go to the person too. Yeah, you have to go to the person and you have to admit it, what you've done, and ask for forgiveness. That's a must, okay? So this is Diddy's chance now to really stand in everything he's done because we are all sinners, we all sinners, okay? So no one is perfect. So you have to stand in everything that you do, every wrongdoings, everything. You hurt people, you abuse people, all these demonic, evil stuff. You have to stand in it, and you have to admit everything. 
Because remember, you can fool some, but you can't fool God. You can't fool God. So that's why it is key to go to Him first and tell Him everything. Tell Him everything you've done. Because He knows. He already knows everything you've done. And He knows what you're going to do before you do it. But that's a step. When you go to Him in prayer and then you just let it all out. God, I've done this. And you name it. You name all these things you've done wrong. Everything. And you ask for forgiveness. That's the huge step right there. And do not protect anyone. Do not protect anyone. And take accountability in whatever the judgment is. Yeah. Serve your time and work on yourself. Yeah. So last night, God softened my heart about Diddy because when I tell you I was just praying praying because I just felt this sadness and the whole shoe size situation I'm just like oh no you know I don't hate anyone I don't want anyone to do that you know and I don't have any hate for anyone even though I can't stand Diddy and his ways his evil demonic Ways, the things that he's done, I still don't want him to shoe size himself, you know. So last night, God did. He softened my heart. He did. And I still want Diddy to go to jail. I still want him to do life in prison. I do. But I just, you know, I can still have empathy. Is that the word, empathy? Yeah. And, um, yeah. So, you guys, that's all I have. Um, yeah, don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. And leave comments. <laughs> I read them. I do. And um, I'll see you on the next one. All right? Peace.